Good morning, everyone. Now, a lot of you see me thrifting all of the time, but some of you have asked for just a little bit more of a mundane type of video. That's what this is going to be. I'm about to do something that we all have to do every once in a while. That's schlep to the grocery store. Now here in the city, I usually just walk to the corner market, but when I need several things, I will actually go to a supermarket. Now I could take the train, but since I do have an automobile here in the city, I just drive. This is how we shop in the city. Let's go. Oftentimes I get vegetables and fish in Chinatown just a few blocks away. But when I need a lot, like gallons of milk and cat litter and big things like that, I do get in the car and go to a grocery store. They've just built an Aldi that's opened up about five blocks away on Broad and Ridge. So we're going to jump in the car together, head on up there, and sort of explore that brand new Aldi in a neighborhood that's very... Uh, quickly changing. Uh, many neighborhoods in this old industrial city fell on hard times from the 1950s all the way through until the 90s when things started to come back again. And just north of me, things are really starting to pick up. So you'll see some dilapidated old buildings, but you'll see some that have been restored beautifully. Now let's go to the Audi and then we might be able to do some thrifting after that. I hope you're having a great day.
Okay, I'm up in the parking deck. Now this is all brand new. The Aldi just opened actually a couple of, maybe a month ago. And I think there's also a big like new condo building or something like that in this area. So th this huge massive parking deck that you see is not just for this department's, department store, not just for the uh, grocery store. We're actually, I'm gonna see if I can get you to see we're right next to the old Divine Lorraine Hotel, which is apartments. I think you can see that. I'm still in the parking deck. It's like a little courtyard down there. And um, we're on the corner of Ridge Avenue and Broad Street, if you guys know Philly pretty well. Might as well go ahead and do this while I'm out here. It's a beautiful parking garage, parking deck. Yeah, this is the back side of the old Divine Lorraine. There's some air heating vents that are going to make it difficult to hear. I'll let you see it. You might be able to see it a little more down here. You can see it's all new construction up here. So, then over here on this side, this is a view of North Philly. And um, you see that building with it, with the um, wire cage on the top of it? Let me zoom in right there. You know what that is, right? Hold on, what happened to my, there we go. Wait a minute working on it. What happened? There we go. Okay. That is a school uh, and the playground is on the roof. That's pretty typical around here. They put the wire cage over the top so, you know, nobody falls off, but also so you can throw balls and play up on the roof. This is a view from the back of the store. That's the Ben Franklin Bridge crossing into Jersey. You've seen that from where I live. Yeah, you can see we're on the back of uh, condos. A lot of new construction in this area, which was run down for many, many years, but they're really doing a good job. And I can see the carts are actually outside here on the deck, the shopping carts. Okay, let's see how we gain access to the store. We're up on probably the second floor, so it looks like there's some doors here and an elevator we have to take down. I'm not gonna actually film inside of the Aldi. <laughs> We've all gone grocery shopping before, and I don't think it's that ex exciting to see me pick up a gallon of milk and a dozen eggs. I don't think I need one. I'm just gonna get a basket when I go inside. There are the carts. There we go. Okay, down one level, so back in again. Okay. So there's a staircase. Boy, that's beautiful. Look at that. Can't take the staircase, so we will take the elevator. Oh, it all smell, it smells like a brand new car in here. New construction, new paint, new floors. Let me step back in case somebody's actually on the elevator. I don't want to stick a camera in their face when they get off. No, it's just us. Ooh, big elevator. I 
I love the little salads they have here, and sometimes you can get a dollar off if you buy them right at the end of the sell-by date. I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute just in case someone's standing there. <laughs> Okay, there's the street out there. As I said, they're really working on this part of town. Oh, I guess we're gonna go outside. Um, there's the hotel that we were looking at from the parking deck. That stood abandoned for years and years and years and years, and now it's condos. So they're working on this area. And of course, this, this Aldi is gonna be great for this neighborhood <clears throat> because there weren't any grocery stores right here in this area except for the little corner stores so it's really great there's a cheesesteak place of course that building that you see right there that's pretty typical of some of the buildings in philly that need to be rehabbed but it'll it'll get there it'll come it's just life in the city okay so as i said i'm not going to film in the aldi but there it is i'm going to go in and pick up a few things These are the little salads I like. And when I was in here the other day, they had a whole bunch of them a dollar off. They're still not bad at 280, $289. And um, so they're already made up. It makes it easy for me. That one is chicken Caesar. I got some grapes. I love grapes. I'm gonna get a chicken Caesar. There's a the chef salad. You know why I'm here, I'm gonna get four of them. Two Caesars and two chefs. Now I know it's cheaper if you buy all the things and put it together yourself, but I'm willing to pay the extra couple of, couple of cents per salad just for the convenience of it. Cause it's ready to go, I just grab it and eat it. I do want some of these as well. I like that as a snack. And I think I need some nuts and that's going to be it. Some peanuts, I think. Mixed nuts. I don't really need anything else. I think we've got cat food. Look at this. I'm having steak for dinner tonight. What's everybody else having for dinner tonight? I'm having it's Friday night. I know in yesterday's video I said, Happy Friday, and it was actually Thursday. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to film in here, but oh well, I'm doing it. Let me just find the peanuts. Here they are. Let me see. I think the one that I like, yeah, is this one right here. Mixed nuts. Five bucks. Salad, grapes, cheese, and nuts. Let's do it. All right, that was it. Shopping trip successful. I'm back in the elevator, headed up to the parking garage. Put these in the car, and then, oh, you know, I might have to go to a thrift shop. I'm already out. What can I say? Plus, I didn't have much for breakfast today. I had a piece of fruit, and I haven't had any coffee, and it's already like 10 a.m., so I think I might, I might stop and get a cup of coffee and go to a thrift shop on Frankfurt Avenue. Come on, let's do it.
I'm not going to talk too much about Father Divine. I have spoken about him before, and those of you who know, I shouldn't say obscure history, but he is kind of forgotten today. You can look him up, a very interesting character to say the least, Father Divine. And he did own this building at one time, that's the reason why it's called the uh, Divine Lorraine Hotel. It was the Lorraine Hotel when it was built, and then Father Divine got it in the 1940s when he left New York and came to uh, Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. It is a fascinating story. Go Google it. Father Divine. You'll see. All right, we're back out on Broad Street. I do have both hands on the wheel. I've got a device that keeps my cell phone camera hanging in place. I do reach up and fiddle with it occasionally. Uh, but I guess that's no more dangerous than someone reaching up and fiddling with their eyeglasses or the radio or anything else that people fiddle with while they're driving. So I'm going to go up here and hook a right and go down to Frankfurt Avenue and do some thrifting. Hi, how you doing? 408. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Take care. All right, all right, all right. That smells good. Now, can you see me? All right. Now, I'm on, uh, let's see, I'm on Girard Avenue. They took the trolleys off because they're being repaired. So now they've got the big city buses that run up and down Girard. I always used to complain about getting stuck behind the Girard Avenue uh, bus, uh, Girard Avenue trolleys. Let me turn this off. Because if you, if you get, you have to drive on the tracks. You've seen it before. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around so you have a better view. This is North Philadelphia. We are north of Center City and we're going under the railroad track, under the uh, Amtrak tracks now. The high speed tracks, not Amtrak. And those are the trains that will zip you up to New York City and, oh, I think you can, I think the fast tracks get you there. The slow train will get you there in about two hours. The fast track, the fast train will get you up there much less than that. I usually take the slow train because I don't mind the two hour train ride um, to uh, Penn Station. Okay, oh, I gotta have this coffee, it smells so good. It's cold in Philly, I got my gloves right here and my, ma and my mask, I'm all set. All right, coffee time, I'll be right back.
Mindy Carson singing It's a Lovely Day Today, and I might add, sounding as though she really meant it. I did mean it, Bill. Okay, I'm back. 
And I want to tell you that I was only able to go in one section of the thrift shop. The second section is tiny and they only allow five people in it at one time. And they were having this special sale and I stood outside for about 20 minutes. It's pretty cold here and I said, eh, it's okay. So I got in the car and came back. But I did find something in the first shop. I didn't do a whole lot of filming in there, but I bought something and I'm going to show you in just a second. If you're a fan of late Victorian literature, you'll probably recognize Dante and Beatrice and a uh, set of bookends. Now, uh, these are unmarked and I'd have to dig just a little bit to find out the maker, but uh, several companies made variations of Dante and Beatrice bookends uh, circa 1915 to 1930. Uh, these probably date somewhere around 1925 to 1930 and uh, Jennings Brothers made them and Bradley and Hubbard and uh, oh Probably half a dozen companies had variations and these are uh, metal bookends They have a plaster core and then they're uh, they're dipped and cold painted there is some patina loss on both of them, mostly on the arms of Dante over there. Let's put the cell phone down here, which is what I'm filming on, and take a, a little closer look. Now, these did come from the thrift shop from which I just came. I paid $5 for the pair. They were on half price. I'm shocked that nobody picked them up. Beautiful detail in, in these. We do see the paint loss here, the patina loss. Now that can be restored or they can be enjoyed just like they are. I kind of like them just like they are, but now if we turn it upside down, we can see here, this is the little uh, loop inside where these were dipped. The inside here is, a, is usually some type of a plaster core and then they're dipped and they could be dipped in bronze they can just be dipped in any kind of metal and then cold painted the way this pair are so but as i said they these are not marked many of the bookends are marked but i'll be able to find it pretty pretty quickly this is a pretty common pair we'll turn them this way let you see their profile you can see the missing paint right there but the detail on these is just exquisite don't you think? I like bookends. Uh, I just have always been attracted to antique bookends and this is a nice pair. Uh, not terribly rare and not terribly valuable, especially in the condition that they're in. Um, one thing that you could do, which wouldn't be a travesty, uh, and that would be you could remove all of this paint and just take them back down to this beautiful finish that we see uh, Because at one time his whole coat here was painted this reddish color or um, Rust color and then the color is flaking off his arms So you could take that paint off and just leave them in this unpainted bronze uh, finish, which would be nice as well Okay, that's it Dante and Beatrice bookends. I had a good time today. Thanks for schlepping along to the grocery store with me. Oh, something different on a Friday. Hey, if it's not your thing, that's cool. I just enjoy presenting uh, videos that might appeal to everyone, and I thought I would do something different. So, I hope you liked it. <laughs> and this is Scott saying, have yourselves a good weekend. Today is Friday. Be safe. Have a nice weekend. Now it's time for me to go get my steak out of the freezer. I'm grilling steak tonight. Thanks for watching and so long for now.